All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be starting off our weapon showcase for Armored Core 6. Now, all of this is going to be centered around PvP. And the first weapon that we're going to be using to start off this series is the Rensetsu RF. A very basic and, in my opinion, very solid burst rifle. As I said, these guns are very, very basic. They have one mode of firing. This is it. You can also charge it up for a three-round burst. But in my opinion, I don't think it's worth it. These things are really good at consistent and sustained pressure at mid to close range. If you want to go hyper meta with these things, you can put on some ear shots or stun needles. This will allow you to get some huge direct damage off when you stun somebody. But if you want to go for something that's not as meta or broken, you can go for the laser drone, Huxley's. I believe the plasma launcher would probably work well and maybe even the Trunos. Any back weapons that's going to help you keep that sustained pressure will be nice. Just don't expect to get any big numbers out of these. As for the mech itself, I went for a bipedal mid-weight build. We went with the Alula boosters just so we could dart around pretty fast. The tall bot, obviously, for that close and medium range assist. And for the generator, I went with the Sante. Curl would also probably be just as good, but I don't like the playing style with these. And for the expansion, we went with Terminal Armor. This is going to help keep you in the match when you were going up against more beefier opponents. Everything put together looks something like this, and I do think that will be about everything. But let's take it into some 1v1s. All right, first match is underway. We got a pile bunker, songbirds, and a... To be honest, I don't know what that other weapon was. I do have the laser drones on my back. Honestly, if you really wanted a good option, the Huxley's would probably be the best. But it is what it is. Just got to avoid the songbirds. And that's kind of it, to be honest. I do a bit better when I'm locked on just so I can keep him in my, uh, my field of view. Okay nice we do have terminal armor so we can actually just kind of stay up in his face to be honest we don't really have too much to be scared of once our terminal armor pop up oh, and gg never mind as i said in the intro these things are pretty standard pretty basic you're not really going to do too much other than well this get up in his face kind of just press the button get get pile, pile bunkered that uh damn he actually might win this one Point the songbirds Get our drones out. Again, we do have terminal armor, so we still should be good. Uh-oh. And there's our terminal armor. Can we... And GG. Yeah, as I said, pretty standard, pretty simple stuff. As I said in the match, the laser drones are pretty good. But if you want something that's going to stun even faster, dual Huxley's is definitely the way to go. Now, I'm a bit hesitant to use these because the community has said that these are rather strong, but they pair really well with that consistent damage that you have with their Insetsus. All right, ladies and gents, round number two. Let's see if this guy can adjust at all. And just like that, just as you guys can see, as long as I stay in that close range, these things are going to build up stagger rather fast. I'm going to get pile bunkered, sadly, because I'm a fucking idiot. But not to worry, because we're going to stagger him yet again, maybe? Yeah? Yeah, I'm actually not scared at all. I'm not scared in the slightest. Huxley, Huxley's are out, and GG. I don't want to take away from the, the Rensetsus too much by using overpowered back weapons, but as you can see, these things pair really well with this consistent damage playstyle that you're going for with these things. Sir? Sir, I'm actually just not scared of you at all. He held his uh, he held his armor, though, which is really good. I honestly don't even really have to dodge that much because he doesn't have the damage to really do anything. My consistent damage is way better than his. So we've switched over to the Trunos just to, just to see. We're going to be switching our back weapons a lot just to try some different combos with these things because, to be honest, they're pretty flexible. Now, I don't exactly know how well this build is going to do against a this type of build, um, seeing as he really wants to be all over the place the true nose are going to help with me controlling this mid-ranged game however we're both kind of pumping num numbies into each other huh i don't know what uh i don't know what um expansion he has although those missiles right there are kind of eating me alive and he didn't use his expansion at all Okay. It kind of seems like he wants to play that, like, far, medium, long range, but he's staying in my face. There you go. So now, situations like this, what you would want to do is assault boost. Assault boost, assault boost. Always assault boost when they're trying to run away from you like this. Use the Trunos to get some pretty decent DPS. Dodge the, uh, the assault uh, armor. And it's kind of just looking like a clean match. 
through and through. GG. Also, I know it kind of seems like this video is more about the back weapons than the main weapons, but there's really not much to these weapons. Like I said, they are rather basic, and the only thing that I can really change around is the, the back weapons, so kind of all we got. Oh yeah, we need to pull out my Huxley. Sorry, I was I was kind of talking. There we go. Get some pretty decent direct damage. Not bad at all, to be honest. Two ear shots is, uh, yeah, but, you know. Okay, he's, uh, and he's dead. Terminal armor is really fucking good now. Honestly, though, having the songbird on, I don't think is the best. You should probably just stick with the consistent damage, and that's pretty much it. Dodge his payload. Probably shouldn't have fired both of them at the same time, but you know how it goes. Get him away from me. Insane. Okay, dodge the payload again. I don't know, I got hit by one that time. Tried to kick. That's really unfortunate. And GG. Not bad. So I went back to watch Point Delta just to try again to see if I could find a meta person. But it doesn't look like I am, so I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Probably a good thing, to be honest. But let's see if this guy's, uh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my controller DC'd. My controller, oh, and I'm back. You know, those laser pistols are not bad at all, especially if you keep the, uh, if you keep the mid-range fight up like this. If he can keep, if he can keep playing this range, he'd probably have me, to be honest. He's trying. He's trying to get away from me. Did you see that? All right, cool. He's got terminal armor. Okay, let's not take, like, an, a, a bajillion damage. And GG. Seems like the thing you want to do when terminal armor pops is just to back off. Unless you've got some big damage stuff. Kind of seems like you just want to play back and wait for it to drain. Sir. 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 Kick. Ooh. I honestly should have just kept kicking or kept shooting him to be honest. I probably would have gotten more damage that way. Kind of just dodge around. Dodge his shit. Uh-huh. Okay. I want to pop his terminal armor before he pops mine. Well, I guess we'll see, huh? Okay, now we just back up. Get these down. Awesome. He hasn't popped my- Oh, he just did. Holy shit. Oh, give me- And GG. <laughs> so we actually have a mirror match this time, guys. But instead of Huxley's, he's running Trunos. He is using the Rinsetsu's, though, so... Let's see who can out DPS who, I guess. Okay. Yeah, dodge the bullshit. Let's not get hit by any of that. Pull out our Huxley's when we get in close. He is going to stun me here, but that's fine. Uh-huh. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. We're gaming. He has pulse armor. We back up on this. Let our Huxley's down. Or put our Huxley's back. Dodge the bullshit. Okay. 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 Wait a minute. Nope. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. I'm honestly glad to see somebody else using the, uh, the build that I'm literally making or using. Okay. Pop these babies while we're up in his face. I don't know how that hit me. It's fine. He's trying to he's trying to play the the mid range game because he, he doesn't want he doesn't want to be up close with the Huxleys. He also just rules the mid the mid game with. Uh... Do I get the kick? Oh, I tried. Damn. Yeah, it definitely seems like the Trunos are are definitely the play if you're if you're playing the mid range style like he is. Hundred and ten percent. That was good. That was really fucking good. All right, guys. So I found a. Uh... I found a meta guy. I do have the Trunos on now because that last dude kind of inspired me. Let's see how I do against a quad zim earshot. How that did not even hit me, wasn't even close. Oh no. Oh my God. Uh, okay, I'm dead. Well, terminal armor. Okay, sir, um, sir, okay. Fair enough. I got him to half health at least. So in order to avoid the ear shot, we're just going to have to be up in the air. Kind of seems like where we got to take this so that I don't get absolutely blown up. Okay. Okay. Let's do yep, dodge the bullshit. He has a long reload, so we should be, should be good to maybe pump some DPS. I don't exactly know 
If I should have kept the Huxleys on, if I knew I was fighting. That's Jesus right Christ. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, uh... That'll happen. All right, guys, I do think that is going to be it for today's video. Final thoughts on the Rensetsus are they're pretty solid. I don't think this will ever be anything that you'll take into tournaments or something that you're going to use if you just want to win and smash people. But these guns definitely do work and are very flexible with a lot of back weapons. However, I do think that will be about everything. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a fantastic day.